So, I'm driving to pick up two amphibians, a uh, tiger salamander and what I think may be a fire belly toad, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, so I'm picking these up from a person who is selling them, or not even selling them, giving them away for free on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I really was concerned for them, obviously, <coughs> excuse me. Obviously, I'm concerned anytime someone's giving an animal away for free online. Um, so I offered to take them. Um, and I've done research about tiger salamander care and um, fi the fire belly toad. I just found out that it might be a fire belly toad. She doesn't know anything about these animals. She doesn't know what kind of salamander or toad they are. She doesn't know what to feed them. Like, they are in a very improper enclosure and they have been eating crickets which is fine for the toad but not great for the salamander to eat only crickets so I'm excited to get them and rescue them and get them to into better enclosures and get them properly cared for so I will update you when I get them I'll be there in about 15 minutes so I'm excited I'm gonna have a little salamander and a toad so here is the tiger salamander. He's in a very improper enclosure for him, for what he needs basically. Um, so this enclosure is actually not terrible for the frog, it's okay. And um, they've both been eating crickets, which like I said, it, again, it's okay for the frog, but not good for the salamander. And they also should not be living together. So. I will get them into proper enclosures and this actually is a good sized tank for the salamander so that's good. Um, let's see, I don't know where the frog is. Apparently he's missing a, a foot. So I don't know. Alright, there's the frog. So there he is, he looks like he has a little bit of green on him. You can see there. He's got the red belly. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the store and get some proper stuff for these guys now. So, I am stopped at Lowe's getting some stuff for the little amphibians. Um, and I wanted to take a second to give a quick PSA. And that would be do your research before you get an animal. So in no way were these um, animals like intentionally abused or anything like that. Um, but they were not given the proper care that they need to live a full and happy and healthy life. So I mean the the frog, you know, the setup was okay for the frog. He's semi-aquatic so water and gravel that's okay definitely should have had a filter. In no world should the frog and salamander be housed together. So that was definitely a mistake. The salamander, you know, the enclosure is a fine size for an, one adult salamander. Um, but the way the terrarium is set up is just all wrong for a salamander. And I mean, they were being fed crickets, which is fine for the frog, but a salamander, a tiger salamander's diet shouldn't be made up of mostly of crickets. They're they're okay, but they don't have like the proper calcium to phosphorus ratios and stuff. So um, they should be eating earthworms or night crawlers um, mainly. So so yeah, basically, just do your research before getting an animal. It really wouldn't have been hard for these animals to be properly cared for. It's not like, I mean, you would have needed an extra tank and, and a, it's a little more work, but it was just pure ignorance that these animals were not, you know, in the greatest state of care. So PSA, do your research, please. Okay. So now it's the next day. I've got the tiger salamander and the fire belly toad into proper enclosures. Um, they've been really good so far. I really, really like the salamander. He's just like super cool. 
and super friendly. He'll like come out whenever he sees you looking for food and he seems to like um, his enclosure so far. I might have went a little ham on the dirt. I might have put a lot of dirt in. <laughs> but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah. And he hasn't really tried to burrow in the dirt much yet. Um, he did burrow under this moss last night. And then I woke up and he was in here under this hide. And then I also have like a little spot for him dug under um, his water dish there. And his water has been... The water's been evaporating out of his cage very quickly, so I'm going to need to figure that out. Maybe it's just not moist enough in the first place, or maybe it's just because we're in Colorado and it's super dry here, but yeah. And then over here, we've got our little frog. He's back there. Let's see. So I have a filter in here, I just don't have it on for the purposes of this video because it's kind of loudish. Um, yeah, so there he is. Um, you know, firebelly toads generally do better in groups. So I don't know, I'm going to see how this guy does on his own. And then I'll decide whether or not I need to get another one or whether I'm going to rehome him to someone with um, other fire belly toads. But yeah, this um, enclosure is a good size for him, but it would be a little small for two fire belly toads. And he's yet to eat. Um, he was eating crickets before. The only reason I didn't want to get crickets for him was because. I'm in an apartment, I don't want them chirping all loud. So he has a roach in there. And yeah, he hasn't shown much interest in it yet. I tried to hand feed him, that, that didn't really work. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so. They've been good so far. If you want, I can make a video about their care and um, how I set up their enclosures and everything. If you think that you'd be interested in that, let me know. I don't know if I'll be keeping them forever or finding a new home for them. I feel like I rescued them and got them into a better situation and now, you know, if I find a good new home for them, then that's fine. But I really do want to keep the salamander, at least. Um, but yeah, there's Lena. She she wants to eat the salamander. She really does. And there's Harley. He's yet to notice either of them. Harley is my foster dog. Lena is my personal dog. So, so yep. Thank you.